Señoras y señores, en Guanajuato escribimos grandes historias y en el deporte no es la excepción. Por ello, nos complace darles la más cordial bienvenida al sorteo de la Copa del Mundo Sub-17 a desarrollarse en México por primera vez y donde las ciudades de León e Irapuato serán las sedes de esta justa. Ladies and gentlemen, in Guanajuato we write great stories and in sports it is not an exception which is why we are pleased to give you the most cordial welcome to the draw for the U-17 World Cup to be held in Mexico for the first time and where the cities of León and Irapuato will be the headquarters of this fair. Es un gusto para nosotros dar la bienvenida a las personalidades que nos acompañan esta mañana. It is with great pleasure that we welcome the personalities who are joining us this morning. Cristian Enríquez Hernández, Director General de CODE Guanajuato. Carol Callan, Presidente de FIBA América. Modesto Robledo, Presidente de la Asociación Deportiva Mexicana de Básquetbol, ADEMEVA. Arturo Mano Santa Guerrera, gran figura nacional e internacional de básquetbol. Rodolfo Gómez Cervantes, presidente municipal interino de Irapuato. Isaac Piña Valdivia, presidente, director de Comuda en representación de Jorge Jiménez Lona, presidente municipal interino de León. Araceli Reyes Márquez, directora de Juventudes, Guanajuato. José David Gutiérrez Rosa, presidente de Ademeva, Guanajuato. Gracias por estar con nosotros y brindarnos su apoyo. También le agradecemos a los directores del equipo profesional de Abejas de León, Freseras de Irapuato, Mieleras de Guanajuato y Toritas de Celaya. Bienvenidos. Thank you for joining us and giving us your support. Thank you to the directors of the professional teams Abejas de León, Freseras de Irapuato, Mieleras de Guanajuato y Toritas de Celaya. Welcome. Es momento de escuchar el mensaje de parte de las autoridades estatales a cargo del director de CODE Guanajuato, licenciado Cristian Enríquez. It is time to listen to the message from the state authorities by the director of CODE Guanajuato, Mr. Cristian Enríquez. Buenos días. Con todo respeto me dirijo a las personalidades e invitados que esta mañana nos acompañan y a todos los que siguen esta transmisión en diferentes plataformas. Nos da mucho orgullo que Guanajuato se mantenga como punta de lanza en eventos deportivos de alto impacto. Y a nombre de nuestro gobernador, Diego Sinué Rodríguez Vallejo, le damos la bienvenida a toda la comunidad que pra practica el deporte ráfaga en el mundo. Las ciudades de León y Irapuato están listas para recibir con característica hospitalidad a las 16 elecciones que formarán parte de esta Copa del Mundo. Nuestro compromiso desde el Gobierno del Estado es hacer un Mundial de primera calidad. Cuenten con todo nuestro respaldo y sepan que estamos trabajando muy duro para hacer de esta Copa del Mundo Sub-17 Femenil una justa inolvidable. Bienvenidos sean todas y todos, disfruten de nuestro Estado y disfruten de nuestro país. Gracias. Gracias por su mensaje, director. Seguramente tendremos un gran evento. Ahora queremos mostrarle al mundo lo que Guanajuato, como sede de este evento, y en particular las ciudades de León e Irapuato, pueden ofertar en materia de turismo para quienes decidan venir a visitarnos. Thank you for your message, Director. We are sure that we will have a great event. Now we want to show the world what Guanajuato, as a venue for this event, and in particular the cities of León and Irapuato, can offer in terms of tourism for those who decide to come and visit us. In Guanajuato, we receive more than 20 million tourists per year. We are one of the most visited destinations in Mexico. And without a bitch. Why? Because we, 
know how to do the big things here. We have the most important cultural festival in all of the Spanish-speaking world, the International Cervantino Festival. Also, we are the only place in the world where a rally runs through tunnels and alleys. Our streets, made of cobblestones, are filled with vibrant colors, rich history, and captivating stories. In León, we host the most impressive hot air balloon festival in the world. You can enjoy our architecture too. And if this were not enough, we have a lovely tradition that lasts all year. All Mexico comes to buy shoes here. This is because León is the fashion and footwear capital of the world. But if you're looking for adventure, in the city of Irapuato, you can visit La Purísima Dam, famous for its kayak tours, where you can navigate inside the Church of San Garro, one of the seven sunken temples of Mexico. In addition, two of our cities have been declared World Heritage Sites, Guanajuato City and San Miguel de Allende. In the last five years, San Miguel de Allende has been considered the best city in the world to visit. In Guanajuato, we have all kinds of unique traditions, such as the Callejoneadas or the festivals of San Juan and the Fresa de la Olla Festival. And for wine lovers, we have the Independence Valley route, where you can enjoy the great harvest. And we have the only festival that honors Jose Alfredo Jimenez, the greatest representative of Mexican ranchera music. Come visit and see through the eyes of a tourist and discover the magic of Mexico by getting to know Guanajuato. CODE, Comisión de Deporte del Estado de Guanajuato. Luego de esta pequeña muestra de la gran oferta en turismo, le decimos al mundo que vengan a Guanajuato, donde encontrarán magia en su estadía. Es momento de ceder el uso de la voz al presidente de Ademeva, Maestro Modesto Robledo. After the small sample of the great offer in tourism, we tell the world to come to Guanajuato, where you will find magic in your stay. Now, it is time to give the use of the voice to the president of Ademeva, Mexico National Federation, Modesto Robledo. Bienvenidos todos, muy buenos días, eh, honorables autoridades que nos acompañan a este día histórico para el baloncesto de México. Es un día histórico porque eh, a partir de hoy inician los trabajos del primer mundial en la historia del básquetbol de nuestro país. Este es un sueño y pues en primer término agradecer a las autoridades del gobierno del estado, de los gobiernos municipales, tanto de León e Irapuato y sobre todo también a los equipos profesionales aquí presentes que se suman a este gran proyecto Creo que va a ser un gran mundial y va a marcar la historia para nuestro país. Pero también quiero dar mi gratitud que todo esto no hubiera sido posible sin el apoyo de nuestro secretario general, Andrea Sacli, que hace este sueño para México. Enhorabuena y deseando el mejor de los éxitos a todos los equipos que participen en este gran mundial en México. Muchas gracias. Gracias por sus palabras, presidente Modesto Robledo. Para lograr este magno evento se requiere de la voluntad de muchas personas, pero en especial de la confianza del máximo organismo en el mundo del básquetbol. Le pedimos a Carol Callan, miembro del Comité General de FIBA, nos dirija un mensaje. Thank you for your words, President Modesto Robledo. To achieve this great event, the will of many people is required, but especially the trust of the highest body in the world of basketball. We ask Carol Callan of FIBA to send us a message. Buenos dias. Good morning. On behalf of FIBA, thank you to Sports Commission Director Enrique, uh, Cristian Enrique, and Mexican Basketball Federation President Modesto Robledo, and all of the familiar faces assembled here today for welcoming us back to Leon and the state of Guanajuato for this draw and then this summer's U-17 World Cup. Leon has hosted several America's events, most notably last year's America, Women's America, the premier event for our region. America's teams know all about this very special part of Mexico. 
And because you are hosting a World Cup for the first time, the rest of the world and federations will get to experience the hospitality and charm of this region. Time and again, the Mexican Federation has supported and hosted FIBA events. And for that, we are truly grateful. Mexico has also embraced women's basketball. Notably, last summer, with a legacy event, a local and national Adelante Women's Leadership Forum. We cannot stress enough the support that you have given to us. Thank you. In return, local fans will get to see the elite young athletes in the world. Last summer, the professional level athletes. This summer, the youngest age group athletes. FIBA's U-17 World Cups are special. I've attended every one of the U-17 events since they began in 2010 and know how important it is for each team that will participate in this summer's World Cup. What you will get to experience and everyone who will watch will be able to see the development of these very young athletes as they progress through their career and potentially end up on national teams at the World Cups and Olympics. We look forward to returning this summer, but mostly today we look forward to the results of the draw. I know the teams are nervous and excited to see where they will end up, so are we. So we thank you once again for including us. Muchas gracias and good luck to the teams. Mil gracias, Carol, por la confianza de FIBA en hacer esta primera Copa del Mundo en México en nuestro bello estado. Es tiempo de conocer un poco más acerca de esta magna justa. Le invitamos a presentar con atención, a presenciar con atención el siguiente video. Thank you very much, Carol, for FIBA's confidence in holding the first World Cup in Mexico in our beautiful state. Now, it is time to learn a little bit more about this great fair. We invite you to pay attention to the following video. Ha llegado el momento más esperado de esta mañana. Momento de conocer el destino de las 16 selecciones que han ganado un lugar en esta Copa del Mundo. Damos la bienvenida a Ana Bartol de FIBA para el desarrollo del mismo. Adelante Ana y bienvenida a México. The most anticipated moment of this morning has arrived. It's time to know the fate of the 16 teams that have won a place in the World Cup. We leave the microphones in the hands of Anna Barthold of FIBA for the development of the same. Go ahead, Anna, and welcome to Mexico. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias y buenos días a todos. Gracias, Anna. ¿Nos podrías explicar, por favor, la dinámica del sorteo? Thank you, Anna. Can you please tell us how the draw will work? Of course. I will also say hello and welcome to the people that are watching as well on this stream. It's a pleasure to be here today and we will soon get started with the draw for the FIBA Under-17 Women's Basketball World Cup 2024. The goal of each draw is to have groups of similar quality and also to distribute the teams from the same region evenly across the groups. And to do so, we have allocated the 16 teams into four which you can see on the screen. 
These parts are reflecting uh, the current FIBA ranking as well as the result of the FIBA under 16 Women's Continental Cup that took place last year in 2023. We will also apply strict divisions of the teams from the same region. So there will be a maximum of one team from Africa in the same group, a maximum of one team from Asia Oceania in the same group, a minimum of one team and a maximum of two teams from Americas in the same group, and a minimum of one team, a maximum of two teams from Europe in the same group. We will also accommodate requests from the host cities. So therefore, Mexico will play their games during the group phase in Lyon. So they will be drawn into group A or B. USA, the defending champion, will play their games during the group phase in Irapuato. So they will be drawn into group C or D. The principle of the draw is that we will allocate all teams from each part across the four groups. We will start with part one, so we will draw one team. This team will then go into one group. Next team drawn will go into another group, and so on. Then we move on to part two, part three, and part four. Since we have restrictions today, the draw software will help us highlight the group available. So the team drawn will go into the first available group in the alphabetical order. Finally, after a team has been drawn, we will also draw a competition number which decides the pairing and the order of the games during the group phase. I hope this is clear and I know we're almost ready to start the draw. Yes. Gracias, Ana. Y bueno, para desarrollar este sorteo solicitamos la ayuda de algunas jugadoras de este bello deporte. To develop the draw, we request the help of some players of this beautiful sport. Demos la bienvenida a Olivia Carrillo Encinos. Fue seleccionada nacional como jugadora y entrenadora de las selecciones sub-16 y sub-17. Bienvenida. We welcome Olivia Carrillo Encinos, who was selected nationally as player and coach of the U16 and U17. Viridiana Mazoco Flores, orgullo guanajuatense, ha sido seleccionada nacional y jugadora profesional. Viridiana Mazoco Flores, a proud selected national team and professional player. Mildred Vázquez Martínez, seleccionada de Guanajuato en varias categorías. Mildred Vázquez Martínez, selected from Guanajuato in several categories. Ivana Olalde Cortés, seleccionada de Guanajuato en varias categorías. Ivana Olalde Cortés, selected from Guanajuato in several categories. Estamos listos, Ana. Adelante con el sorteo. So, we are ready. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. As I explained before, we will then start with part one. So please go ahead and draw the first team from part one. Spain. Spain will move into group A. España ha jugado todas las ediciones y llegó a la final del 2012, 2014 y 2022. Spain has played at every edition and made the final in 2012, 2014 and 2022. Spain will have the competition number two. Next team, please, from part one. USA. USA will move into group C. Estados Unidos ha sido campeón en cinco de las seis ediciones. Hasta el momento, solo perdió en el 2016. USA has been champion at five of six editions so far, only missing out at 2016. With the competition number three. We move on with the next team from part one. Mexico. Mexico will then move into group B. Mexico, país anfitrión del torneo, participará en la competencia por cuarta ocasión. 
Tournament host nation Mexico will play in the competition for the first time. With the competition number two. And then the last team from part one, please. France. France will move into group D. Francia aparece por sexta vez tras quedar segunda en 2010 y 2018. France appears for the sixth time having come second in 2010 and 2018. With the competition number four. We're now ready to move on to part two. Italy. Italy will move into group B. Italia. Esta será la cuarta aparición de Italia, ya que anteriormente llegó a la final del 2016. This will be Italy's fourth appearance, having previously made the 2016 final. With the competition number one. Next team, please, from part two. Japan. Japan will move into group A. Japón continúa con su orgulloso historial de haber jugado en todas las ediciones de esta competencia. Japan continues their proud record of having played at every edition of the competition. With the competition number one. Australia. Australia will move into group C. Australia ha jugado en todas las ediciones y fue campeón en 2016. Australia has played at every edition and were the 2016 champions. With the competition number two. Please go ahead. Last thing on part two. Canada. Canada will move in to group D. Canada nunca se ha perdido una edición y obtuvo el tercer lugar en 2012. Canada has never missed an edition and took third place in 2012. With the competition number three. We now move on to part three, please, Olivia. Finland will move in to group A. Finlandia participará por primera vez en esta competencia. Finland will appear in the competition for the very first time. With the competition number four. Mali will move into group B. Mali ha jugado todas las ediciones y tiene el puesto más alto para un equipo africano con el décimo lugar. Mali has played every edition and holds the highest finish for an African team. With the competition number three. Egypt will move into group D. 
Egipto es su tercera edición. Consiguió tres impresionantes victorias en 2022. It's the third edition for Egypt who took an impressive three wins in 2022. With the competition number two. Last team from part three, please. Croatia. Croatia will go into group C. Croatia hará historia con la que será su primera aparición. Croatia will make history with what is their debut appearance. With the competition number four. We now move on to the last part, which is part four. Argentina. Argentina will go into group A. Argentina jugará su cuarta edición del torneo. Argentina will be playing at their fourth edition of the tournament. With the competition number three. will go into group B. Nueva Zelanda, tras debutar en 2018, disputará ahora su tercera edición consecutiva. New Zealand will now play their third consecutive edition. With the competition number four. Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei will go into group D. China Taipei participará en la competencia por primera vez. Chinese Taipei will play the competition for the first time ever. With the competition number one. Then the last team from part four. Puerto Rico will then go in to group C. Puerto Rico aparecerá en el torneo por primera vez en su historia. Puerto Rico will appear at the tournament for the first time in their history. With the competition number one. This now concludes the draw, so I give the floor back to you. Gracias Ana, la suerte ha quedado decidida. ¿Podrías recapitular, por favor, cómo quedaron los grupos? Thank you, Anna. The fate has been decided. Can you recap the results of the groups, please? Of course. In group A, we have Japan, Spain, Argentina, and Finland. In group B, we have Italy, Mexico, Mali, and New Zealand. Group C, we have Puerto Rico, Australia, USA, and Croatia. And in Group D, we have Chinese Taipei, Egypt, Canada, and France. Gracias, Ana. Y a nuestras invitadas de honor. Estamos seguros que viviremos una competencia del más alto nivel. Suerte a las 16 selecciones y en especial a la representación de México. Thank you, Anna. Thank you to our guest of honor, and we are sure that we will experience a competition of the highest level. Good luck once again to the 16 teams, and especially to the representation of Mexico. En Guanajuato, estamos listos, y les esperamos con los brazos abiertos. Veamos el video de promoción Guanajuato, León e Irapuato 2024. In Guanajuato, we are ready. We are, re we are waiting for all of you with our open arms. Now, let's watch the Guanajuato, León, and Irapuato 2024 promotion video. Today, we want to show you Guanajuato as the destination the world chooses to have its great events. 
For the first time in Mexico's history, we will host the 2024 Women's Basketball World Cup. The best 16 teams in the world will be disputing who is the best in burst sports in the top 17 category. The cities of León and Irapuato will be the venues for the competition because our sports and tourism infrastructure is first world. From July 11 to 21, 56 games will be held here. The venues will be the León Fair Dome and the Inforum in Irapuato. Only in Guanajuato, the future stars of the world basketball will be found. We are ready to make this World Cup the best in history. We are ready to welcome the best basketball players in the world. Guanajuato es Ocoso. Bienvenue a Guanajuato. Bienvenido a Guanajuato, the place that has everything. U-17 Women's Basketball World Cup 2024. Come and live the passion for sports in Guanajuato. Passion for sports. Code. Comisión de Deporte del Estado de Guanajuato. ¡Qué emoción! Ya queremos que llegue el momento para vivir esta fiesta deportiva. Y ya que hablamos de fiesta, no hay mejor modo de sentir a México que con su tradicional mariachi. Y también sus bailes típicos. Aquí una muestra de ello. Disfruten de esta presentación. It's been a fantastic day. We are looking forward to enjoy together this sport festival. Thank you to everyone that has been today with us. And since we are talking about a party, there is no better way to feel Mexico than it's with traditional mariachi and its typical dances. Here's an example of it. Enjoy the performance. 